Hello, my name is Luna and today I am going to explain to you how to use the law of attraction. So in my previous video, I was explaining a bit about the law of attraction and uh, how it works. And today I'm going to um, give you some understanding of how to actually use it. So with the law of attraction, it, the one of the key things for success is to be specific. You need to be really clear about what your intention is. So one of the um, most common things that people are trying to use the law of attraction for is when it comes to money. OK, so let's use money as an example. If I was wanting to um, use the law of attraction with money uh, to manifest, okay? So it's about getting really, really clear. So for example, if you wanted to bring money into your life, you need to decide on the amount, okay? So say you wanted a um, thousand pounds, right? You would need to be making sure that you were absolutely clear that it was a thousand pounds that you wanted. So your what you actually want has to be quantified. Now, if you were using the law of attraction when it comes to love and romance, and you're wanting to bring a new person into your life, you need to be really specific about what it is you're actually wanting. So if you are wanting um, the, the, the age of the person, so for example, you wanted somebody who was three years older than you, somebody who um, was financially stable, somebody who didn't have emotional baggage, somebody who was emotionally open, available and single, and somebody who had a love of travel then that is what your order is. I always think about this part of the law of attraction, this this being, um, you know, setting your attention and being specific. It's like you go into a restaurant and you look at the menu, but you're looking at the menu of life and you're deciding what you want. You have to be specific. You have to tell the universe exactly what it is that you want. If you're finding that things are not showing up in your life, you're not being specific. So um, if you're in a place just now of going, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, that's why nothing's happening because the universe doesn't know what to deliver you, okay? So the first thing is about being really, really specific and quantifying what it is you actually want. The next thing is about affirmations, okay? So we're getting ourselves into the, the, the right vibration of energy. So that's about thinking about what we want, but it's also about feeling it as well. The feeling is really, really important. Now with affirmations, I find that affirmations and gratitude actually link very well together. I do my affirmations in the morning when I get up. So I would say something like, oh, you know, um, today is going to be a good day for me and it's gonna be a good day for me because I'm gonna make X amount of money. Um, I'm going to uh, have a phone call today, which, um, you know, gives me a new opportunity and um, I'm going to feel good uh, for the whole day. So you've got to be really, really clear about what they are. And then, so so for example, say you were manifesting this 1,000 pounds, okay? You have to keep being, it's repetition with your affirmations. So you have to keep doing them. So you get, create a routine around it. For me, it's in the morning when I'm getting ready, uh, you know, having my cup of tea and, and organizing myself in the day. That's when I do my affirmations. Now, your affirmations can be a really private thing that you do by yourself. You know, um, you might find that, you know, you do them in the morning when you're getting ready. You can do them in your head. It's a relationship that you're having with the universe. Nobody else needs to know about it. Other people might find that they like to write their, their affirmations down. It's really about what works for you, but it is the repetition and, and being um, really crystal clear on what your intention is that are two very, very important steps. Don't forget gratitude. That is also so, so important. The next thing is to feel like it has already shown up. So if so, you've got this thousand pounds, you've manifested it, it's come into your life from this unexpected source, boom, you've got it. How are you going to feel? And this is a part that people struggle with is getting into that vibration before it has happened. So it's important that you actually do that, that you get into that vibration on feel what it feels like to have that money or have that, um, that, that new uh, person for a romance show up in your life. How's that going to feel? You need to recreate that feeling or create that feeling in your uh, body before it's actually happened because the law of uh, attraction is about the, um, the thinking and the feeling. The other thing that's important to do is to respect 
what you already have. So if you are trying to um, create money in your life, you're trying to manifest that to come into your life, it's about being respectful and, and mindful with what you already have so that the universe knows that if it gives you more of something, you're going to be able to be mindful and respectful of that. Same when it comes to love. It's about treating people with love, honor, and respect. So those are four, um, four of the steps that you can put in place to get started with using the law of attraction. I hope you found that all helpful. Love and light. Bye-bye.